Hi guys, so in the last video we have seen how we can create our own character using the features available inside of the Character Studio and the Head Studio. So we have done this character completely within the toolkit. Now, for some users, they might need to use their own designs that they design in external applications like Illustrator. And in this video, we're going to see how we can do that using images that are pre-made. So using your own custom images instead of creating your character inside of the toolkit. Now, of course, one thing to note is that if you are using your own images, you will be choosing to use your own images instead of the features of the toolkit. So most of the features in the Character Studio, for instance, won't work since you will be using your own images instead. And even for the Head Studio, most of the features in the Head Studio will not work since you would be using your own head image. And even the rig in here and, and mouth poses basically will not be able to work since you would you would be using your own image instead. Now of course you would still be able to use the the general rig of the toolkit in here and uh, and the included animation presets. So this is a very good feature in here for you if you would like to use your own custom images where you can add your own custom character from outside of, of this toolkit and then still be able to use the animation presets that are included with the with the toolkit. With that said let's start. So what I'm going to do in here, open in my explorer where I have my character saved. Now, it is important to have your character separated into different parts. So when you, you create it, you need to separate it into different parts. And these are basically the hand. You only need one hand in this case, since both of the hands will be the same. The head, left arm, right arm, left foot, right foot, left leg and right leg, and the torso. So these are the things that you will need to have prior to starting this process. First of all, you need to go to the project window in here and we're just going to literally pick all of these and drag them right inside of the project window, just like that. Now I'm going to organize these a bit. I'm going to create a folder and I'm going to rename this to custom character parts and just select these and place them right over here. Now make sure that the format that you use for these for these images is in a format that has a transparent background. So for instance, a PNG would be good and make sure to have, of, of course, that transparent background. Now that those are all imported, all you need to do is basically replace the parts of the character in here with your own custom images that you have just imported. So let's open in here the folder, NML01. Let's go to NML parts. Let's go to head and start with that. Actually for the head, we need to import this right inside the, of the head studio in here. And what we're going to do is we're simply going to go to head in here and place that on top, right in there. And we're going to hit the solo button in here so that only your layer will be visible. Now we have our custom head in here instead and if we remove that solo and hide that you will still have the your original character so let's solo that let's go back to the animal studio and immediately we'll see the head had changed with the custom head that we have just imported now for the next part is the torso let's find the torso in here so we need to change the torso right over here double click on that enter inside of this folder in here and what we need to do is simply bring in the torso image that you have created and solo that once again. Of course, if you don't have the exact measurements in here, you can always scale up or down and reposition, etc. in here. The next part will be the arms. Let's go first to the left arm, go in there. And in here, I'm just going to import my left arm and solo that. And I'm going to go to now the right arm. Double click on that and import the right arm in here and solo that as well. Now let's go to the legs, actually the hand first in here. Once again, what we are doing is simply putting our own custom head, hand in, in there, hand image, and then soloing it. For this case, make sure that the hand and the feet are in black since this will give you an ability to even change the color 
right inside of the characters to go at a later stage. So next part would be the legs. So let's go to the legs and let's do the feet first. So the left foot, I'm simply going to import the left foot in here and solo that and the right foot. Let's bring the right foot. Put it on top and solo. In this case, as you can see, we might need to resize. To resize, I'm just going to go and resize like this. So let's go to the left leg, open the top left leg in there and find the left leg image. Solo that. Let's go to the right leg now and bring the right leg image and solo that as well. So that's basically it. You can of course also do the tail if you are going to use that. So in this case, I'm not going to use a tail, so, but feel free to use a tail as well and do the same right over in here. That's basically it. So let's now jump back to our Animal Studio. Now, as you can see, we still have that old tail in, in there since we haven't added our own custom tail. And our legs are looking a little bit funny in here. And we're going to see how we can edit some minor things in here since we still retain some functionality of the character studio in here. So we're going to see how we can use that to further customize this, this character. Let's first go to the tail and select the tail size. I'm going to turn that to zero so that we remove that tail. One of the features that we still have is the color of the hands and legs and feet. So we can go to the hands in here and give them a different color. Just like that. I'm actually selecting colors from the head in here. And for the feet, we can do the same. So let's select those colors like that. So that is a feature that you can still use the feet and the hands color when you are using your own custom characters. Now, one thing that you can still use is, is as well the placement of the hands and the placement of the legs and their size as well. So in this case, I would like to increase the size of these legs since as you can see, they are quite short. So I'm going to simply increase this, this size like this. And uh, so 62% would be good, I think. And then I'm going to make them higher like that. And you also have still have the functionality of distance between the legs in here. And the same for the for the arms. So like this, I like it how it is, but if you'd like, you can even customize the height of the arms like that maybe, and even the distance and size, etc. So the thickness won't be available as a feature since you are using a custom image in here with its own thickness. Let's just undo that. Um, another thing that we can modify is the head size in here. So we can increase the size in here. This way you can really adapt your character to what you want. So, and even the head position here, we can tweak. You can also defeat, increase and decrease their size as well. And the same for the hands. As you can see, you still have quite a number of features in here that you can still use. Lastly, what, what we can mention is that we can, of course, use animations with, the, with this. So the head, we are using a completely custom head in this case, so you won't be able to use any of the features of the head in here, of the head studio. But in here we can still add, uh, add the custom, the pre-made animations in here. 